What's up guys, Coach Peters here. Today I want to talk about our last training phase, which is going to be power. We want to build power production now. Um, just a quick recap, right? We started at the bottom of our pyramid, working GBP, providing our base, our foundation, right? Creating stability, joint stiffness, torso strength, so on and so forth. We added volume in our muscular endurance phase. In our last phase, we just worked on some hypertrophy or getting size or some, some tone to the body. And then as we continue to work our way up, we're, with this class, we're mixing strength and power, right? So strength is what we're trying to put on. It's really, really super heavy loads. It might be a little bit slower. And then power is where we're trying to try and move those with a little bit of speed and emphasis, right? So specifically here about the power, what are some of the goals with, with training within a power phase, right? The first and foremost is gonna be our RFD, our rate of force development. If you know anything about athletics, this is the holy grail. This is really what it comes down to. If we can create more force, faster, more rapidly than the next person, we're gonna win every time, right? So rate of force development, obviously we wanna get strong, and we wanna produce a lot of force, but now we're increasing the rate that, that, that we produce that force at, right? So as we start to, to look at this, we're gonna increase our, our, our dynamic effort work, right? Dynamic multi-effort, multi-rep going at speeds, and we're, we're also gonna have an acceleration focus, right? So um, if you remember back to our GPP, there was a lot, of, a lot of the three different phases of muscle contractions, right? We could go down eccentrically really slow, or we could pause in the hole and isometric contraction, or we could go up fast or slow um, with our concentric, right? So we have those three different phases. Now, the emphasis is more on our acceleration. Can we speed up what we're trying to do? Can we go, right? That's, that's the main goal here. Um, we're gonna use maximal or semi, um, or semi full recovery. Uh, for this stuff it's kind of like if you want to if you want to be fast if you want to train fast if you want to be strong and train strong you ought to allow yourself to recover so you can work at those intensities right this, to be fast it's very very intense and it's asking a lot on the body regardless of how much weight you're using how much load right so um, if we are going to be able to move fast then we got to allow ourselves to recover and then so the next rep is again fast um, with that, that same concept, right, with recovery, is we need to increase our technical mastery. Now, I said this with each phase, right, but as we start moving uh, an external load or just our body with more speed, uh, our technique has to be in line, right? It has to be good. Um, chances of injury goes all up and up with, as speed goes up, right? Our CNS is gonna be recruited even more, right? We're gonna work to, to pull out all of those central nervous system stuff. We want, it, we want our rate coding, we want the muscles firing at the right patterns. Um, and that's what helps to enact that speed. And the CNS, right, the nervous system is really what, what handles a lot of that, right? We can be strong and our muscles can be strong. But if you get the whole body, the whole system working together and in rhythm, that's when we can, can really create some true power. So, so correcting and, and, and getting our, in line, our CNS is a big part of it. And then, and then finally, we are now using our ATP, or our phosphagin energy system. And that's we're, we're gonna be using all three energy systems at all times, but the ATP is gonna be our primary one. And that's the one that we create a lot of soreness, right? You talk about your lactic acid buildup. Um, it's not gonna so much get you sucking wind, right? We talked about that muscular endurance early on with a lot of reps. You're gonna, you're gonna feel your lungs getting tired, right? Like, <laughs> that's not so much what we're at. We're on the other end of the spectrum now. So that's what that ATP energy system really means. So, how do we go about it? What are, what are some of the specific reps and sets we need to be talking about? Number one, um, we can look at this a little bit differently, right? Um, there's two ways that we can train pure power. Uh, the first one is gonna be emphasizing strength speed. So we still want some weight on the bar, right? I can be powerful uh, by attempting to move that thing fast, but if it's really heavy, it's obviously not gonna be moving all that fast. Think about power lifting. Well, it's power. But those guys are lifting massive loads and it's not exactly going super fast, um, but the load is extremely high. The intent is to go fast, but because the load is so high, we're not gonna be able to, right? Um, so that's the first one. We can train for strength speed, or that higher end, higher end load range, or we can also train for speed strength, where we're actually gonna take a lot of weight off the bar or whatever movement you're trying to do, and we're gonna emphasize our speed of the movement, right? So. Um, there's two different ways that we can approach this. Make sure that you understand, right, throughout this whole course, we've been working on increasing our, our intensity, increasing the load, the weight. But here, as we get to the power, and then finally the speed phase, obviously we can't move fast if we have a high load. So we gotta remove some of that at times and then work fast, because you get better at exactly what you do, right? Now, with, with either of these, 
we can we can maintain some of these basic guidelines which is usually one to four reps per set right that's way lower than what it has been usually three to six sets and i would even go way higher than that too right you can do 10 sets of two um it's really heavy heavy squats or you can do you know 10 sets of two on bench press really fast getting that thing off of you um, and then we're gonna have obviously a really really long rest time you can't expect yourself I like to use the saying, right? You can't go sprint a mile and then you can't do back to back to back to back sprints either, right? The body's going to slow down and it's going to, it's going to, it can't operate at that intensity for that long. So understand, manage your rest times, take as much time as you need because the emphasis there is to go as fast or as hard as you can when the load is on, right? So just a quick recap, again, strength, it's heavy. We're looking for tonnage. We want it slow or squatting, power lifting. We're looking at big football player linemen, right? And then our power, right, is where we, where we really start talking about rate of force development. Now we want the speeds. We're talking about a jab, a quick jab, right? We want something fast, powerful, it's explosive, it's quick. We gotta get snatching, right? So that's kind of what we're looking at in this power phase. We wanna be fast and explosive and go.